I'm finally alive. This is crazy, guys. Oh, I have to add. Unpacking. I forgot to tell you guys, but really fucking f Oh, hold on. Really fucking funny story on Wednesday, about Wednesday's stream. <laughs> I was gonna stream. <laughs> and then, before I went to the gym, I was looking for something to watch. Scrolling through YouTube, I see Alpha Red. <laughs> Alpha Red says, guys, I'm gonna be streaming Peak. Peak as in... <laughs> Peak as in Funko fucking fusion and i was like freddy fazbear i've gotta see freddy fucking fazbear so so after the gym he coincidentally was at the freddy fazbear part so i was like sorry chat i've gotta watch peak I was texting my partner that I was like, I was gonna stream today, but I'm watching Peak right now. I can't miss it. I wouldn't miss it for the fucking world. So that's why you didn't get a stream on Wednesday. Honestly, I was pretty tired on Saturday. <laughs> FNAF is not Peak. What the fuck is wrong with you? FNAF is so Peak. And what do you mean? Funko Fusion is peak. You wouldn't know peak if it hit you- Oh, Munch, did you? <laughs> did you see the leaks for the blue- for the blue- for blue lock? Part- not part two, season two? The 2D animation? Oh my fucking god. Why did they become friends with Freddy and the crew? <laughs> Well, that was the FNAF movie. That's not FNAF. Okay, the FNAF movie and FNAF are actually very different. Nuh uh. You didn't see. Oh. Oh, we got we gotta pull it up. I've given up on anime. That shit was. <laughs> Bro, I saw the leaks for JJK2, like the ending. Low key mid. My. I, my. Because I talked to my partner about it. My partner really likes Chainsaw Man. Just like me. Wow. But there. And also my brother said the same thing. The JJK ending. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. I was just like. What is going on right now? It. it it's fallen off for like the last like 30 chaps. No literally. But I did hear that. I I heard that Gage did not want to make JJK. He was he was like his editors and his higher ups were making him make JJK. He actually wanted to make a horror. Seasman, thank God. Oh my god, I get so worried that people think Chainsaw Man isn't good right now. And I like my and like my heart like starts to sink. And I'm just like, guys, no, please, please. Because I know, I know for sure that he has good writing. His one shots are amazing. And he's gotten- and he's got, like, ungodly special treatment. Anime with all unique endings? Crazy. First time it's ever fucking done. Then he gets his- then he gets the bomb arc as a movie. Okay, that's pretty normal. And then his one shot gets adapted. Like, how many- like, how many creators, aside from, like, Miyazaki, have gotten, like, so many works done? Like, that's actually crazy. The newest chapter of the statue literally- oh god. I like people making like mech jokes about it too. Like there was- there was an artist that drew it as like an Evangelion reference and they were like- And they were like, Liberty Mech, go! <laughs> but honestly, I cannot forgive Fujimoto for never- For not bringing back Kishibe. Like, my guy is still alive. Where is he? They brought... I mean, I love Quan Chi. I love her to death. But they brought Quan Chi before Kishibe. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, and the war devil. Bad as hell. Yeah, I don't really like Yoru as much. Like, I like Yoru as a character. I don't think she's a bad character. 
but I much like, but I like Asa a lot more. And I think part of my hatred for Yoru comes with merch. Because every time people will make merch, it will always be Asa and Yoru, or just Yoru. It's never Asa by herself. And I'm like, there are two completely different people. There are two completely different people. There are two completely different fucking people. But about JJK, my brother and my partner were just like, this is just Naruto. This is just Naruto. And I was like, wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. This is Naruto with like a fresh coat of paint. Yeah, I guess, but I like them together. That's what makes them good. See, I'm a fake fan. I am not caught up. <laughs> like I read the newest chapter because my partner finally got caught up. So they've been they've been reading all the recent chapters. Like they're like all caught up. So like I have to be caught up. Like I like it's like I have seen the leaks or not the leaks. Like I've seen like I follow a lot of artists. So I've seen them post art about like the recent chapters. They're not like spoiler free. So I like have like an understanding of what's happening, but like not to, like the full extent. But I do have I have caught up with the manga. They're like buying them. So I have all the physical copies right now. Seeing the devil and the human side. The big secret is that all shonen anime are exactly the same. Really? Good thing I was never a shonen lover. That's why I don't like shonen. Do you like Danda Don though? Because I was talking to my brother about it and I was like, I thought Danda Don was supposed to be kind of like a horror show and i was i was talking to him and i was like is this maybe like what gege would have wanted to write like is this more on like what he would have wanted to write i've read a few chapters but i saw the anime coming out i stopped it seems peak yeah i couldn't get past the like first fucking chapter because she Cause like the, cause like the girl is like almost fucking naked and then she gets groped by the ghost. I, and I, and I like, I literally like opened up to that. I was like, I don't know what's going on. They're like, let's go get some ghosts. And that's like the first thing I fucking see. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like really turned off by it. I was like, er, guys. But I do know that they said in the anime when they adapted that first part, they did it a lot less grossly, but it was still... So it's just like, I guess I just have to watch the anime, but it's kind of just like... Because like, it's not cut up, so it's just like... Uh, I kind of want to read the manga too, but I was just like... Having to do like anime only, because most of the time, like anime only does not go very far. So that's why I was like a little hesitant on it, because I was like, I would be like itching for more content. And it would be sad if, like, the anime was, like, done, like, a little bit better. So then it's just, like... Did you see the anime OP leak? It's a banger OMG. No, I did not. I did hear, though, that it was by someone... Like, my brother kept saying who it was by, and I... Com oh, it was by the people that made Masa Hero. Ma Masa... What the fuck is it called? The fucking bling... Bling... Whatever the fuck. I have it, I have it on my place. I'm not a fake fan. Taste yeah, whatever their name is, yeah. So they, they did that one. And so he was really, really hyped about that. Did you see it in theaters though? They, I didn't realize it was on Friday the, ter the 13th. That's actually cool as fuck that they put the first three episodes in theaters on Friday the 13th. Like that was actually, that's actually, that, that's fucking banger. That's pretty good marketing. I will not lie. That is some good ass marketing. Ain't no way, bro. There's no way it didn't happen near you. Do you live in like the- There's no way. Are you serious? That's so sad. That makes- Because I'm saying there's no way because like- Because that makes me really scared because- Look Back is coming out on October the 4th. So I'm like, I'm- I need to see that in theaters and it better be in my theater. And also, they're doing Boshi the Rock. They're doing Boshi the Rock in theaters. I think from the 6th to the 8th of October. No, 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 little bro, please, no, 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 you, you've got to see Look Back at Theaters, you've got to see Watch with the Rocket Theater, no! no, 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 I don't watch fucking movies, but when it comes to, like, fucking anime, 
Look, especially if fucking look back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see that. 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 Do you not have an AMC? Because usually, because I saw Jujutsu Kaisen Zero in theaters and the Demon Slayer in theaters. Because of AMC, because it was at AMC. And then AMC also runs the Stubbly Ghibli. The, hello? Studio Ghibli Fest, where like every year, like at certain times of the month, they'll be airing like certain Ghibli movies. Like I think. September, like this September, at the near like the end of September, it was House Moving Castle. I have Cineplex. What the fu Okay, you live in the, you you actually live in the butt fucking nowhere. What the fuck is a Cineplex? Oh my God, you're cooked. You are cooked. Hold on. Actually, let me see. Because I'm, like, literally, like, on the edge of my seat waiting to be able to look at tickets for Look Back. Because it looks so fucking good. I already bought the soundtrack from from Japan because people already saw it in Japan. And I was really upset about it in July. And I was really upset about it. And I, oh, not, not in July, but, like, there was... They had released it early in July, only at a New York con, and I was so fucking mad. I thought that it was—I thought that was like the literal release, and I was like, "Guys, I'm gonna go see it," <laughs> and, it and it never fucking happened. <laughs> we only get really big movies. Not did you get JJK and Demon Slayer in the My Hero movie though? Because I would say those are pretty fucking big. Like that's why I'm scared about Bochi and Look Back because I know that they're like not huge especially look back i don't think look back is very huge this drawer sucks yeah i seen jjk in theater Huh, that's weird, because you didn't get Don to Don, but you got JJK. Okay, well, now I'm screwed. JJK bigger than Don to Don? Way bigger? Shit, you're right. JJK and Demon Slayer are both very mainstream. Fuck! No, no, I can't have this happen right now. No, I need to see Look Back. No, 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 please, please, I have to see Look Back. It is like my one dream. I can die happy if I see Look Back. Oh my god, I think I'm fucking cooked. How are you, Munch? What have you been doing with your life lately? What has the Munch- M Munster? The- the- the Munster been up to? Clearly not watching anime. You don't watch this anime, dude. You have to watch some more anime, dude. Classes started up? What classes are you taking? So what, what classes are you taking? Are you an IT major? <laughs> I actually don't know your major. What's your major? Ethics, mythology, heroes, and political theory. Dude, if you told me fucking mythological heroes, I wouldn't fucking believe you. That sounds fucking cool as hell. What the fuck? That sounds so cool. Yo, guys, I'm taking fucking mythology heroes. What classes are you taking? I'll fucking lose immediately. I'll be like, damn. I'm a law and public policy major. What's public policy? My brother was also a law. Was also majored in law. 
Yes, my favorite class. It's because you play Hades. Bro, oh my god, they made Hades into a real fucking class. Yo. That's crazy. Hades is so popular, they made it into a fucking college class. Wait, that's so cool. Wait, that's so cool. Did he play Hades 2? Did Hades 2 ever come out? I'm curious. I know... I heard people talking about, like, them getting, like... What is it called? Like, like early access on, like, mobile. She said she's gonna play Hades... She's gonna play Hades songs next class. Oh my god, that's so awesome. What the fuck? She's the GOAT. It's like early access, so it's not fully out. Dude, I got people on Steam sharing, so I actually, actually, I can play. I can finally play Haley for the first time. But I don't know if I would like Hades. That's why I'm like a little hesitant about it. I know a lot of people like it, but like, I don't know if it would be my type of game. Oh, is it? Oh, is Hades 2 still not done? I don't know how long it takes to make a Hades game. So I was just like, I remember hearing about it like a while ago, but I didn't hear anything else about it. So I was just like, I don't know what's going up with it. Why can't I put that there? What? That's so fucking bullshit. Okay. I don't have the last boss. Oh, I don't. The last boss isn't even out in the game yet. Oh, shit. I don't know where to put all this stuff. Or like it just came out, I think. Oh. I swear I heard about it like a few months ago. Am I crazy? Am I a little delusional? No, because I swear about I heard about it like a few months ago. I'm not crazy. Oh, that doesn't help. Okay. I'm waiting... Maybe IDK. I'm waiting for it to fully come out to play it. Okay. Do you think I, could, you think I should play Hades on stream? You think it's a good game to play in October? I was actually looking for, like... Games to play in October, because I was like, well, it's like spooky month, so like. And I started playing like a little bit of RPG horror, so I was just like, well, it's probably like a good time to start playing horror games. I've seen that if you try to pause in the last boss, it doesn't let you, which is cool. <laughs> that is kind of cool, but. <laughs> if it was me, I'd be like, no, please, I need a brother. Please stop hitting me. Stop. I need to think. I need to think about this, guys. But I mean, it makes sense because like usually in any other game that you that would not fucking happen. Play Roblox horror games like we did back in the day with me, you were and Steve. Dude, I thought about that. I was like, dude, I fucking miss those Roblox fucking horror games. And like the search through all the fucking shitty ones. Oh, my God. Dude, those were the fucking days. Yo, take take me back to the golden age, to the golden era. What do I do with this? Oh, where does this towel go? Oh, I hate that. I hate that. That grosses me out. I don't like that.
There is no space in this fucking bathroom. Holy shit. I don't know what I want to do with those. I don't know if Roblox Horror has gotten good or worse over the years, I'll be honest. I don't know what the state of it is right now. Because there might just be like a lot of sh just shit on it. I mean, that's what happened when we played. It was really hard to find something that was good. I mean, like, the shit people can make is insane, but to be honest, the, like, really bad ones are funnier. <laughs> like, but they barely work. Okay. I kind of I kind of don't know if I want to play Roblox, though, because I have to pimp out my character, dude. Like, I can't be looking like a loser. I have to look really fucking cool. But I don't know how, if I want to spend money on Roblox. I think I would go down, like, a... And also, like, I never remember my Roblox password. <laughs> and I'm always just like, fuck. And I always, like, undownload it, too, because I never play it often enough. Oh, what the fuck? Why can't that be there? What? You would leave your pots and pans out, bro. Don't lie to me. What the fuck? Bruh. You've got to be kidding me. That was like the worst spot you could ever put it. This is stupid. That's why I don't like this game. This is really stupid. You don't have your fucking electric kettle out on the fucking table? Yes, you fucking would. Whatever. It's all falling apart. Dude, did Kaylin and the gang ever make you play Dress to Impress? I feel like that's something they would definitely make you play. I haven't even played it, bro. They never made me? What? I didn't play it though. Was it fun? I kind of don't want to play it because of all those fucking kids, bro. Like everyone, like I've seen so many TikToks about people complaining of people on Dress to Impress how they don't fucking know what themes mean. And it like pisses them off and like the worst people would win too and it would be really frustrating. Yeah, kind of, but like in small bursts. Okay. 
Because I, I did see a video that made me kind of want to play Dress to Impress. It was a little video and they were doing anime outfits. I was like, okay, this is kind of... No, not anime outfits, video games. And honestly, they were pretty good. They looked pretty good. And I was like, okay, this is pretty sick. This is kind of awesome, guys. What have you been up to? Oh, man. Uh... Well... I had been meaning to get... To, like, be more active... In Caitlyn's Discord. But, like, every time I would look, you guys weren't on. So I was just like... Like, nothing ever lined up, so I was just like, okay. Well, we'll just... We'll just... We'll just have to see... What happens. But... Mm, I got a 9 to fiver. So I have to work a 9 to 5 -er. And... Oh, you know what? I've actually been going to the gym! Bro, I've been going to the gym. It's awesome. Dude, the gym is like so cool. Oh. <laughs> I'm hearing the word partner. That's new to me. Show. Um. <laughs> uh. Explain this, guys. Um. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm thinking like really hard about it. I know that like, I'm just like, how do I, <laughs> how do I present this? What the fuck is there a toaster here? Uh. <laughs> it ain't that difficult. Uh. <laughs> Um. Mm. <laughs> um. It kind of just happened, like we were talking and stuff, and like it's the fucking classic trope. Oh my god, I don't think they like me. Like, like we were, like very dense. Cause I like I would do stuff that would be like. That I would be like that I wouldn't do it for, for like anyone else and they like it wouldn't like click in their fucking head and then they would do stuff and it wouldn't click in my fucking head. So it was just like a wild fucking goose chase. But funny story. I was hanging out with my friend and I was talking to her about it. And she just like I let her just like take my phone because she was just like texting like a whole bunch of like gibberish. Well, not, like, gibberish, but, like, say stuff that, like, I hadn't said in, like, a very, like, exaggerated way. And, I mean, that worked. Because, like, cause, like I, I think I think I kind of just needed, like, a push because I was just, like, I was kind of just, like, I don't, I was kind of just, like, I don't know what to do in this situation. So I was telling you about that, and I was, like, well, it's not really going anywhere. And it's, like... And I think the only problem was that I was worried that it wasn't going to go anywhere because, like, I'm fine with it not, but I was just worried that they not that they might not like it or, like, it would be, like, frustrating to them. So, I... So, that kind of, like, gave, like, the push for it to happen. Because, like... I thought about saying stuff, but like I wasn't I wasn't like sure. So I was just like holding myself back. I see, I see. Are you taking are you are you writing notes down? I gotta write this down. Wait, so you are the Rizzler. <laughs> Dude, no. 
<laughs> no, I'm not the fucking Rizzler. Holy sh... Well, I mean, I have that. I have the autistic charm. I have the mysterious and off-putting aura. I think the Riz is non-existent. It's just a lot of like... So, um, so I actually really like this thing. And like, it's so cool and awesome. I would have like huge yapping shush, okay? I don't think that's the Rizzler. Where the fuck do you put this? I'm not gonna put it on the fucking shelf. Cause there's- oh, actually. Why do you want this lay flat? I guess I have to put it up. Are you kidding me? What? You should have enough fucking space. Bruh. Hey, if you are dating someone, that's Riz. <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think that's how it works, for sure. I'll let you have that. Well, because honestly, we we're just kind of like talking. We we're in the talking stage, guys. So. I don't know where to put all this fucking shit. That's better than what I can do, so no, 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 much, much. You, I am confident you are a Rizzler. You just haven't found, it's because you live in a nobody fucking town. That's the problem. When you live in a nobody fucking town, it's so fucking hard to pull. Because there's fucking nobody. But dude, you go somewhere else, you travel for like a week or something, you would pull. I, I trust, I trust in the Munch Riz. No, I see the vision. You're not seeing the vision. You're not seeing what I'm seeing. And what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a fucking vision. I trust, Munch. Trust. Trust. Bro, if I can do it, you can do it. Well, actually, though, honestly, I was pretty scared because I was like... Because, like, they're pretty nice about me being aromantic, but, like... It can be pretty hard. Well, I mean... Honestly, it's, it's not that it's, like... I mean, it is kind of hard. But, like, it's just, like, scary. What the fuck, Caitlin? Is <laughs> Sean were telling me if I tell the grinder it takes like 10 minutes? What the fuck? Bro. Do you want that though? Like, think about it. That's actually fucking crazy. I could never imagine that. Honestly, though, 
Hinge is kind of the only one that I do use. I met them through Hinge. They, but they, but they were like in like my area, so it wasn't that hard to find them or like to hang out with them. But I only like using Hinge just because I like being able to see people, or no, like see likes. Because I was like, I'm not fucking paying for this shit. But yeah, they're very cool. They, um... They're a very good melee player. They've been to lots of tournaments. They met Alpha Red one time. I love Alpha Red. Alpha Red is so cool. But, like, I trust in the Munchers. It's not that, like, people don't like you. I think it's just hard to find people. So, I think you're a very likable guy. And you're a fun guy to hang out with. So, I think you have a lot going for you. Why does it sound like a diss? That is not a diss. That is not a diss. Oh my fucking god. That, so that sounded so mean. I didn't intend it in that way. I meant it in a very nice way, actually. But, like, most men are kind of like a wet paper fucking bag. I mean, I don't know how you are in, like, a relationship, but I know, like, how you are as a person. You're fine. You're cool, you're funny, and you're not a bad guy. That say that says a lot for men. The standards are very low, actually. So, as long as you're not a bad guy, you've already got like a fifty percent chance, fifty percent win rate. <laughs> mm. I did start watching Arcane though, because I was hanging out with my partner, and I was and. We were gonna, we were gonna draw, like chill and like draw, and I was like, "Can you find a League of Legends stream <laughs> for background noise?" And they're like, "Have you ever watched Arcane?" And I was like, "No." And they're like, "Okay, you're watching Arcane." And I was like, "Okay." I think I only got to like episode five. It just makes me want to play Jinx. So, I love you, Jinx. It's peak. Yeah, and also because... I think it was also because... The season 2 trailers and stuff were out, so... Might as well get caught up so you can watch season fucking 2! Of Archange. And there are lesbians in the show! Oh my god! This is so cool. Riot Games. Oh, did that new character in Valorant ever come out? I forgot. I have to play Valorant so I can get them for free. I have to go back on the Valorant arc. Has there has there anything has has there been anything interesting in Valorant? I don't know how often you play Valorant now. You got peace out now. Thanks for joining. It was fun catching up. Have fun, little bro. I will. They did. Oh, fuck. Okay. Looks like I have to play Valorant. <laughs> I hate Valorant. I would rather be held at gunpoint than play Valorant. It's okay.
the only thing that unpacking ever taught me was i'm never if i ever have to move i'm never fucking throwing my shit in fucking boxes like this because this pisses me off it doesn't piss me off like in a bad way it's just i think i have a little bit of ocd so well i don't know if it's oc i don't know it's it's like i don't remember what exactly it is it might be just a mixture of a few different things but it's like when oh, i forgot to put this poster but it's like when everything needs to have its own place so like having everything randomly tossed in boxes like actually pisses me off and it doesn't help that like i grew up with a family that did that right like anytime they would say that they have to clean an area what they would basically do is just put all of the shit in a box and like get it out of the way so like you're technically cleaning because like there's not a lot of shit anymore but now it's all just packed into a fucking bunch of boxes and also like if i don't see it then i don't know that it's there so, like, putting a bunch of shit into boxes doesn't really help me. Because, like, I mean, like, yeah, you're, like, de like you're getting rid of all the stuff that's laying around in the house. But, like, you don't know. Like, for me, it's just, like, I don't know where that stuff is going. Really. Like, if I need to find it again, how am I supposed to find it and, like, all this shit? So like for me like everything has to have its own place and if i like moved out like i would need them to be in like separate boxes like of in like groups so they would, they would have to be like in groups for me like the way that i have it oh you can't move those you can only move the ones you bring in I don't know where to put them. I don't really like. I don't really like any of those spots. But like, I have. So I've been like, because my partner is really into physical media. They have like a lot of movies, which I thought was really fucking cool. So I wanted to do that. So let me see. But, so I have it organized because I've, I've also been buying new DVDs too. Because, um, it, because they were on sale and also it's pretty hard to thrift like anime series. Like most of the new ones that I've bought are like anime when like there are sales because, I mean, I get... I mean, it's also, like, it's valid because I get scared that they'll get taken off of streaming services. Or, like, that's... I mean, that's the fear that a lot of people have with digital media. Like, I remember I talked to my brother's friend about it, and he said that, like, it's fine for, like, Steam. But, like, there are, like, some things where, like, you'll buy, like, the digital part of it, but, like, it'll be, like, we well, don't actually own it. Like, you would, like, a physical copy. So that's why some people are, like, really scared about, like, digital media. Like, not being able to have, like, actual, like, ownership of it. And I talked to- I said that to my brother's friend. And he was like, well, you don't have to worry about that with Steam. Because in with Steam, you actually do own the games. But I think that can be, like, a problem for, like, the Nintendo eShop or any of those, like, eShops. I don't have a PlayStation. I don't have an Xbox. I only have a Switch. That's- and then I have a Steam Deck, so I really don't fucking know I only use Steam. But I do know that, like... Um... There was, like, a lot of... Not a lot, but, like... I saw a TikTok, because I forgot about it, and I was reminded of it, because I saw it again recently. But, um... OKKO, OK like, that was taken... 
like i saw a video a tiktok and it was talking about how that got taken off of streaming services or that like it's really fucking hard to find because they're like they're like deciding to like not put it up anymore so like that's i guess like one of like the scary things and also like i am like a little conflicted with like digital media like because like that's one of like the problems like people would say like like if you have netflix like you have like so many options that you're kind of just like stuck scrolling but like if you had like a selection maybe that would help i, I mean that sounds kind of like silly but like i don't i don't know but i was like it's also just nice to have i think well i think honestly my biggest fear was it just not being on streaming services and like that's the big fear is that there's no longer going to be access to it and so that's why physical media is so important so that you can have it Have a great stream at night. Thank you. Piglet's Cove. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I have a hard time reading. I only like to use night mode, but like the worst part about night mode is for some fucking reason, I cannot read names that aren't like super bright. I don't know. I think I'm, I think my eyesight, I think my eyesight's just getting like horrendously worse. So the fuck was that noise where did that fucking come from One room down. Oh! Thank you for the raid. Holy shit, Woj. Woj. I haven't had, like, a raid in, like, so fucking long. Woj. Oh, thank you. What were you guys up to? Before, before you guys came over. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Holy shit, Woj. Yippee! The, like, that's so fucking cool. Yeah, I haven't, like, participated a lot in, like, the streaming realm. Like, I used to do, like, a little bit. But I would never have enough to do, like, a little raid. So, like, this is so sweet. Thank you. Oh, wait. I have the bard. The trio. Hmm unpacking oh cool just like me i think the most fun part about unpacking is like seeing how different how like people like organize things differently i think it's so interesting the fuck where am i supposed to put all this shit like that but yeah i was chatting about digital media and physical media and how i've been collecting a lot more physical media i so when i grew up i never had a console to be honest, the Switch was literally, like, the first console I've ever had. And that's... Well, yeah, and that's not really a console. I mean, it, it can, like, swap into a console, but, like... That was, like, the first time I ever had something that's like a console. So... 
I and when I had a 3DS, I would I would I think we would usually get like physical copies. And then I only started buying digital like a little bit and then a little bit more into the Switch era. So I haven't been collecting like physical games, but I remember one year for my birthday, I got, um, I think we still had our GameCube. So I was, I was like, can I have the GameCube? And they were like, sure. And then my brother got me Wind Waker. So I think the GameCube is, I think like those older ones are easier to have like physical copies of. But like the newer ones, it's a little bit harder. Physical stuff is great until you run out of space and then you have rooms dedicated to things. No, literally, because I was thinking about that. Because like, because I was talking to my brother's friend about dig about phys like physical and digital media. And he was like, well, I mean, it's just more convenient to have digital media because like, if you have to move, you're not moving all your games and stuff like that. But like, so I'm kind of like conflicted on it. Like, I I really like trinkets, so I think it's so fun to just have all of that stuff. And it it and it kind of just I mean it just looks cool too, to like have like a little library. Like I've always liked libraries, so it's just like to have like my little own library. That sounds fucking cool. Where the fuck? What is this? Where would you fucking put this? If not right there. This is like one of the problems I have with unpacking is like sometimes I can't tell what something is or like sometimes they're like really picky about where it goes and I'm just like like then where would it go then <laughs> like like that's like the one issue I'm just like well then where else would you put it if it doesn't go there Yeah, someone who has a room with nothing but bookcases, it's a pain when you get moving. Mm-hmm. But it's also, like, pretty fucking expensive, too. But, like, I think... I think I just really... I mean, I like the vibe of, like, reading a book. Like, it's so nice to, like, read. Because, like... Because I would think, like, sometimes when I'm, like, driving home and, like, the weather is really nice, I would just be, like... You know what I would love to do right now? I would love to fucking, like, go outside and play Minecraft. But, <laughs> but, like, the problem with that is, it's just, like, this, like, the screen brightness. Like, you'd, like, I, like, have to, like, kill my fucking, like, battery life just so I can fucking see. But, like, like, I'm someone who doesn't really like nature because I don't like bugs, but I like the weather. Like, when the, when the weather is really nice, that's when I like to be outside. Cause it just feels awesome. Oh my gosh, I have to organize all this fucking shit. I don't like reading on my phone or tablet. I love hardcover books. Okay, thank God I'm not alone in that. Cause I also do. I kind of just like like the feel of the book too. It just feels nice. Like I mean, I do like read on like my phone. Like I read like a lot of webtoons, but I find that. Reading manga can be kind of hard, too. I mean, I don't have, like, a manga app. That's probably why. But, like, um, I've been trying to read Dungeon, Me Dungeon Meshi on this website. And, like, the website can be, like, a little finicky with where you, like, click. Because, like, what it is, it's, like, it's, like, a bunch of, like, just, like, the panels uploaded to, like... And, like, it's also, like, really hard to, like, zoom in. So, like, when I zoom in, it, like, freaks out. Or, like, if I, like, if I touch it, like, a certain way, it'll just bring up, like, just the one panel. Which is, like, easier to zoom in on. But, like, I would have to go back, then click on another panel just so I can zoom in on it and stuff. Instead of, like, just scrolling. So, like, it's a little hard that way. Also, it can get, like, pretty expensive buying manga. This manga is really expensive. And, like... <laughs> I 
I I still don't know if it was a good idea or not, but I when there was like a books a million sale, I bought all of Dungeon Meshi. And that was before like the box that had been revealed. It's it's kind of it's kind of hard to collect manga because like sometimes those box sets are actually really cool and sometimes they're just f horrible and I'm just like I mean it's cheaper. Yeah. But like this is kind of ugly. I mean, not to say that, like, but, like, it was just, like, if I had waited, right, I don't think it would have mattered, because I think it would have been, like, around, like, the same price, or, like, I just didn't want to wait, because it would take a while for that to happen, and I was like, well, I just want all of them, and it, and it took them quite a long time to ship anyways, so it's just, like, I had to wait anyways. Yeah, but, like, the box set for Dungeon Meshi was kind of a little mid. I, I, like, really extravagant box sets i don't even know if that's <laughs> if that's like possible but i like them when i like them when they're really fucking cool i think no i think it's all because of the toilet bound hana cocoon box set let me google it just so i'm not crazy like it's, it was so fu it's so fucking cool I only buy manga if I really like it. I prior I mean more like like you deserve that. All the more like all the more power to you. Whatever the fucking term that is. Fuck. Okay, let me pull up this image. That we all know what I'm yapping about. I'm kind of basic when it comes to anime and manga though. That's totally okay. Like, because manga collecting is so expensive. Like, if you collect any, like, fucking shonen. Like, like for example, Jujutsu Kaisen. That's a fucking long ass series. So, like, the... So, I try to collect more, like... Like, shorter series. But I've, I've been kind of failing at that. Like, I started collecting Skip, Skip and Loafer. And the Apothecary Diaries. Those are fuck... Like, when I think of long, I think of more than 10 volumes. Because I've gotten, like... Because I have, like, a few series that are, like, pretty short and sweet. You know? Which is, like, really easy on, like... Like, being cost-effective. I had to look up Dungey Meshi. I watched that on Netflix. Yeah, it's so good! And they're getting, like, a season two. I'm loving Dungey Meshi! But this is what I'm talking about. This is the Toilet Bound Hakakum box set. So this is, like... A bathroom and like the story about hana cocoon is that he's like the bathroom ghost so this is pretty fucking cool and it looks cool on your fucking shelf too it looks like one of those like i don't f like are they called like book or something the dungeon meshi one isn't bad it's just a little bland in my opinion and it's also because there's not there's not like a f like an actual image of it. There are just like mock-ups. I do kind of want to buy the like whole DVD series of Dungeon Meshi, but like it's looking to be really fucking expensive. So I don't think it's happening like anytime soon. Unless like one day I like magically win the lottery. But, like, this is, like, the mock-up that they have. Like, it doesn't really tell me much. Like, I don't know, like, where the book's gonna be. Like, this is cool, but, like... Like, it, it's cool. It fits into, like, the theme, but, like, it's kind of boring. I think... Because, like, I don't know if it's supposed to be, like, open on your shelf like that. Or... Because, like, there's one that it shows that, like, you can, like, close the tabs and open the tabs. But, like... It's just, like, if you, like, think about it just, like, sitting on your shelf, though, like, that's why I want the boxes to be cool, because, like, well, like, I really like book nooks, so like, it's just, like, it's just, like, a little sad. Like, I, I get what it's doing, but, like, I don't like it. I am a massive Dragon Ball Z nerd. I have the full run of DB, two different sets of DB, DBS, JJK, Dr. Stone, Elfin Led, My Hero, Basilic, Death Note, Spy Family, and Chainsaw Man. I have all of the DBZ VHFs, VHS tabs, hello? Tapes. 
tapes and various DVDs and Blu-rays. Lots of Cartoon Network. That's so cool. I want to do that with Chainsaw Man. Like, I am, like, a big Fujimoto fan. Like, I have all of his works. I don't have Fire Punch yet because I have heard that Fire Punch is a little fucking weird. So I haven't gotten to reading that yet. But, like, since there's not, like, a lot... Actually, you know what? I've never fucking seen the Chainsaw Man DVD. I've never fucking seen it. I'm just really- because I have, like, I have, like, the soundtrack, I have some of the endings as, like, a CD, because I don't like vinyls, and so I'm collecting CDs, because I also saw, like, like K-pop fans, they have, like, a lot of CDs. There's- I, I got this, like, really cool, like, it, it hangs on the wall, and it's, like, a CD player. It looks really fucking cool. Probably doesn't play very well, but it looks pretty cool. I'm a boomer nerd of Fire Force 2 and AOT. I have Chainsaw Man on Blue- <gasps> Fuck you! I want what you have. Fuck, how much was it? Fuck! Blu-ray edition? Blu-ray final edition? What? 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 This is so cool! What the hell? <gasps> There's like... Here, I'll get the picture. Oh. I don't know if it'll pull up. Hold on. But this is sick. My partner really likes Aki. Like, this is fucking cool as fuck. I don't want to get, like, the normal Blu-ray. I kind of want to get, like, this the fancy ones. This is one of the fancy ones for the for the cover. What? It's Aki! <gasps> Yo. That is fucking sick. So I have seen, like, if you've seen, like, what is it fucking called? It's like that cooking show. What the fuck is it called? I'm gonna Google it so I'm not a fucking... Food Wars. Food Wars has a really fucking cool DVD box set. Or whatever it's called. It's like really fucking big. And, it, and, it's, and it's themed too. So that's the cool part that it's themed. Like 35. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I fucking love Chainsaw Man. That is not bad. I actually I actually really like the animation of Chainsaw Man too. I think it's done. I, I, just, I just really like Chainsaw Man. Oh! <gasps> There's a fucking deluxe edition! That comes out in October! Yo, yo! <laughs> Guys. Oh, wait, this is a vinyl. Wait. And oh, Chainsaw Man Deluxe Blu ray and vinyl collector's box set in October. <gasps> That's so fitting that it would be in October, though. I was. I was really excited, though. I thought that we would be getting the bomb arc in October because Chainsaw Man released in October. But we're getting Look Back instead, which I am totally fine with. I'm totally fine with. I love Look Back, but... Still waiting on Bob Devil arc. But this is fucking sick. No power? Sag. And there's power right there, but I mean, like, over here. There's only Aki and Denji, but this is fucking cool. Check out Thrifts and Goodwill. I get a good amount of media from those places, too. I got Hunter Hunter tapes from Goodwill. Holy shit, I didn't even know they made Hunter Hunter tapes. Yeah, I kind of live in, like, a nobody town, so, like, that's never gonna fucking happen. Unfortunately, I do find some of, like, my my American movies there. Like, I have, like, 500 Days of Summer, and I, I find stuff like that, or, like, cartoons. Those are easier to find at the thrift, but, like, anime, I, like... It's never gonna happen, so I'm just like... Those fucking vinyls were so fucking cool, though.
Oh, what the fuck? Blu-ray and vinyl collector's edition will only be available at MCM Comic Con London from October the 25th to the 27th. The set will be available at the Country Roll booth. <gasps> Storyboards? No! Sketches and arts comments? A lectacular art card? Six book plates? <gasps> Steelbook? No! No! In some adventure time. Oh, I got Invader Zim from Goodwill too, and some adventure time, but I ended up buying the Adventure Time collector's thing. I I thought about that. Because I found I found a thing of regular show. And I was like, this is a problem with thrifting like cartoons. It's like do I do this or do I just buy the fucking box set? Because it would be way, ch like, it wouldn't be like way cheaper, but it would be way easier to find to do that. So it's just like, and like, and like, that's also the problem with like manga. It's like, if you buy it as it comes out, like it might just have been cheaper to get the box set. So like, you're like losing out on a little bit of money there too. Or, like, if the box set is really cool and you want both. Like, I really thought about getting the Chainsaw Man box set and just having... Because there are crazy people who are like that. They'll get the box set and they already have, like, the whole collection, too. But I'm just like, I don't want to spend that money to have, like, two copies that won't be used. Oh, that's such a cute little Vimo emote. Let me look at the Adventure Time. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, because um, we have a store here where like, they like, re like you can, like, it's kind of like, what is it called? It's kind of like Book Off. We don't have a Book Off, but this is like similar to Book Off. It's not as good as Book Off, but like it's just for DVDs. Like you can buy like pre-owned DVDs. But like I saw one for Teen Titans and I would like compare it to like the prices online. It's like because like they don't release. They release it as like seasons or like by section. So it's pretty expensive that way if they're like $10 or like $15 a pop. But I was like, it would just be way cheaper to get like the whole series. Like, there's no point. And also, like, it's really hard to, like, thrift because then it's, like, you never know when you're going to find the one that you need. Or, like, it'll just take way too long to find the pieces to the series. I was buying Dragon Ball Super as it came out, and I sold it when I got the box set, but it's not really done. Yeah, I thought about that, but I was, like, I don't think there's any way I could, like, sell off my, like, books. Because I don't, I don't really, like do like depop or like mercari i'm like really bad like i tried it once but like i'm really bad with like shipping stuff i don't really get it i'm a little slow i'm a little slow in the head i'm trying to why is it making me log into control i just want to see chainsaw man What? Why can't I see? Okay, I can see the store now. Oh, there's spooky deals. Dude, why is it like cock blocking me? Just let me look at the store, dude. It's actually cock blocking me. What the fuck? I sold it on Facebook Marketplace. Lil. Oh. I thought about that, but like, I'm pretty like gullible. So like... Fuck, I don't know my fucking password to Crunchyroll. Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm fucking cooked. I just wanted to see your fucking store, bitch. Okay, but I'll look into that. I I I don't know why, because like every time I look at merch, like it never clicked. Like I got the soundtrack, it never fucking clicked. You should get the fucking DVD. Never fucking clicked. I'm fucking stupid. My brain is like pretty empty, so there's not a lot that goes on in there. So much fucking clothes. Get off. Okay. I was like, it's not fucking coming off. Is there, am I stupid? Where are the clothes? I don't like how there's an uneven amount. How do you bring an uneven amount? I think I might be missing some stuff. Cause there's no fucking way you have like this- You don't have a lot of fucking clothes. What is happening? Where is all your clothes? I need this bitch to fucking clean her house. Because where the fuck am I gonna put my GameCube? This is the real questions we need to be asking. I guess I have to put these on the shelf. What do I have to do? What I should do with all these fucking board games? Oh, there's not a whole bunch of board games. Are you serious? Why can't that be on the table? You don't want to listen to the stereo on the fucking table? Hmm. 
there's a shirt that I missed. But I think that's it. What if it's just like no clothes? Why do you have no clothes? But yeah, the reason why I went on that whole- <laughs> I go on lots of tangents. But I was like, the reason why I actually went on that whole tangent is because- Let me see. Because I was talking about how unpacking, how they like toss everything in these boxes. And like for me, everything needs a place. So there's like- There is no way I could do that. Like, because I- Because I'm like- moving my stuff so i can move out i don't know like i think i'm trying to do it this year but like i'm not sure like when so i'm just like slowly like getting stuff out of my room right now to prepare for that can i put that shoe back there that bothers me But the way that I have it set up is that I have, like, my new DVDs separate from my thrifted ones. Well, also because my new ones are just anime. <laughs> oh, guys, they're just anime. Guys, I love anime so much. But yeah, they're just anime, so... I keep- I keep them separated. Hello, Hanzo Simp. I still... so... For the next Papa's Friday, I haven't decided which Friday I'm going to do it as. But the days that you can look for it will be either the 11th or the 18th. Because I'm going to be out of town on the 25th. And this Friday on the 4th, Look Back comes out. So I'm trying to go watch Look Back. Hopefully, hopefully it's in my fucking town. If it's not, I'm going to be drinking. I'm going to be... I'm gonna be so fucking drunk. <laughs> I'm gonna drink the pain away. I would- I would be devastated. Because I- I've literally wanted to see that since July. Since it came out. <laughs> and it's my favorite Fujimoto one shot. <laughs> I can't see it. I don't want to be here anymore. If I can't see it, I don't want to exist on this world anymore. But yeah, the 11th and the 18th you can look forward to for a Papa's Friday. Oh, there's more close right here. Am I fucking stupid? Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> this bitch has no clothes! Just doesn't see the fucking clothes. Maybe that would be helpful. There we go. And then for Papa's Friday, I'm not sure which Papa's game I'll play, so we will see. Is is there a Halloween Papa's game? Is there a Halloween one? Because I don't. I mean, October is not my favorite month, but since a lot of people are getting pretty festive. Well, not pretty festive, but, like, a lot of people like October, so... Oh, is this a fucking planner? Am I stupid? I think this is a fucking planner. I thought this... I don't know what the fuck... I, I thought it was, like, a graduation book or something. What the fuck is wrong with me? This is a fucking planner. I'm only upset because I fucking, like, I don't... If, if I had known it was a planner, I would have put it somewhere else. That's why I'm like, I'm so dumb. I can't tell what, if this is an anatomy. I don't think this is an anatomy. 
like drawing. I'm trying to separate them from drawing. Oh. Oh. There's no fucking space. Okay. Sure. I don't know what this is, though. This might be like a photo album. This is the fucking problem. I don't know what the fuck half of these things are. And I get really confused. And I'm like, oh, no, no. Where the fuck is it supposed to go? Because I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know why they brought their fucking alarm clock. Because, like, in this fucking room, where the fuck would you put it? Because your your computer has a fucking clock. So, like, why would you need a fucking alarm clock? I'm just baffled and very confused. I know that this is a drawing tablet, so I would either put it... No, it doesn't fit in the drawer. Okay. Usually I would have my drawing tablet, like, right there. I don't know why they have these little cards here. I don't know what that's fucking for. Why would you need that? I don't even know where to put these colored pencils too. It would make sense to put it in here, but it doesn't fit. Oh, you know what? The game's in there. Yeah! Yeah. We're cooking. We're cooking. Mm, I think I would just put these under the bed, really. Why do you have a fucking frisbee disc? I'm very confused. Or, I would put it right here, actually. The foot of the bed. Hello? I don't know what the fuck this is, I'm gonna be honest. And then this? Can you put it in here? Yeah, okay. I think I'll just put this under the bed, I don't know what that is. The piggy on the bed. Put the cat on the bed. Oh, this stupid fucking water bottle. There we go. So many fucking boxes. Honestly, I was feeling horrible today. I didn't even gym, guys. That's when you know it's fucking bad. I was gonna gym, and then, like, 
I took a nap and like I woke up from the nap like actually feeling fucking horrible. I felt sweaty. I felt awful. My head hurt. My stomach hurt. I didn't really, I didn't eat before I took the nap. I kind of ate some Cheez-Its, which isn't really like, I didn't have like food food. So when I woke up, like my stomach fucking hurt and I was like, I don't, and I just had to like eat something to just eat something and i was just like nothing sounds appealing i don't know what the fuck is wrong and i was just like what the fuck is happening so that's why we aren't playing little goody two shoes i was gonna play little goody two shoes because i want to fucking finish it i've got a fucking mission but i was like i don't feel good i need to play something where i can like relax because i'm not feeling super hot and now i feel fine problem solved but yeah i was kind of crazy i was like do i not have any fucking like chill fucking games like i was just searching through them and i was like this is unbelievable i couldn't i could not figure out what i wanted to do so I just did unpacking. Because I was like, I think this is chill enough. I thought about Papa's, but like, because of how Papa's is, I think it would stress me out and like make me freak out even more. So I don't think that will happen. Well, not like, I, I don't think it will happen today, but like it will happen. Because we have Papa's Fridays. Oh, I wanted to say... I did very fucking good today. Drove, so my family went with me because they didn't want me to like kill myself on the road because I was gonna drive my friend to Louisville, which is like two to three hour drive. Two and a half if you, well, I mean, I think it's like two and a half, but really like two and a half, two thirty. Fun, funny fucking story the fucking the fucking google maps app like died dude you jackass can you move your fucking sh oh you can move the shoes oh my God. i couldn't move anything in the other one so i thought i was just fucking crazy maybe i am crazy maybe you could am i just stupid go fast zoom zoom yeah. I wanted to, but I didn't want to get pulled over. So I just went I went five over. But yeah, because I'm not I'm not used to driving long distance. So I kind of wanted to take her at first because I was like, well, I can get some Why the fuck is this shoe doing weird things? Okay. What? Okay. Hold on. Why are these shoes doing weird things right now? There we go. But my family went with me so I wouldn't kill myself. I was gonna go alone because I just wanted to practice. And I couldn't, like, f like, I couldn't really, like, find, like, a medium when I was talking to, like, my brother and stuff. But I was, I talked to my mom in the morning, and she, she slapped some reason into me. Because she was, like, because so I was, like, well, if you wanted to practice, you could have told me, and we could just go out of town for, like, a trip for practice, instead of, like, having to take your because she was going to go to the airport in Louisville. So she was like, instead of having to like drive like a whole six hours. Because I think they were mainly worried about like on the way back. And also like Louisville is kind of like in that hurricane area right now. So they were like really worried for me. Like if it's like really bad and like considering like the drive itself, like you'd be in like a pretty bad position not ever driving because i've never driven to louisville so louisville is like if you've never driven to louisville louisville is like very mountainous lots of curves 
So... Like, I... Because I drove on the way back. My brother drove us on the way there. So, like... So, we were, like, looking at it. I was like, oh, the weather is not bad at all. But, like, if it had been, it would have been, like, a problem. But... But I was pretty tired yesterday because I hung out with my partner and then I came home. I'm pretty sure I sh Did I stream on Saturday? I feel like I didn't stream on Saturday, but I also feel like I did. I'm fucking crazy, but I didn't go to the gym on Saturday. So I didn't go to the gym today either. So I'm just like... Because mm. I, felt, I felt so horrible waking up after that nap. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know. Because usually... Like, when I wake up from a nap, it's, like, not that bad, but I just felt fucking awful, and I was just like, what the fuck is happening? Usually, I love naps. I'm a napper. I love naps. But I was like, this is not it. What the fuck? Oh, okay, these can go on the fridge. Okay, I was like, these aren't going anywhere. how i want to do this i guess that's fine it just feels really fucking cluttered i don't like this i don't like this she can't have a drawing tablet in the room she doesn't have her own fucking room in this game it's just stupid I was like, I could put it in the living room, but like when you have like a bar set up like this though, it's not it's not bad to do work on this like bar setup. That's why I'm like, hmm. Is that fucking protein powder? Whoa. No, you can't fit that in there. Okay. Whatever. Hmm. I don't like this fucking stupid water bottle. I never know where the fuck to put it. it takes up so much fucking space. Where should I put Oh. Well, where does this go? What? Okay. I guess it's gonna go over there. I don't like all this shit over here. Like, it's supposed to go over there. But there's too much shit over there. Don't like it. Well, if I put the scale in here, okay. Blender right there. And then I think this is, this kettle is fine here. Like that. So you can get your cookies and get your tea. Where the fuck am I supposed to put these bottles though? Oh. Go down here. Yay! Where 
much do I put this colander, though? Oh, can I put it in here? Why do I put it in here? I don't like how it doesn't sit properly. That's close enough. Hmm. I'm gonna put the tower right there. Fine. Oh, and now that there's more space, space out her things like that. Hmm. What can I do with all these towels? I need somewhere to put my feminine product. Oh shit, where can I put- Oh fuck, where do I put this? Oh, guess it's going on top- No, I don't want it on top of the fridge, let me see. Skip these over. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know why she has this. It's fuck- it gets every- it gets so annoying. It becomes a problem everywhere. Why is your Listerine all the way up there? You're not gonna fucking use it if it's up there. What the fuck? Well, I guess he just might be super fucking tall. So I would never put it up there. I would never fucking reach it. I am very short though. But I would never reach it up there. Fucking maniac. Is this toothpaste? I'm gonna assume it's toothpaste. It just looks really weird. Hmm. I guess I would put that up there. I usually would keep this by the sink. So... There we go. I don't like putting the first aid bag there, to be honest. To be honest. But there's nowhere I can put anything. I would prefer this to go up there, but... It looks a lot nicer when they're out of the way, but we can do this. I'm gonna make him have his own fucking drawer. I'm not sharing with you. I don't want to share with you.
can't tell what these are and what these are. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what they are. He only gave me... I only have two hangers. For my dresses. For my skirts. I don't like that. No fucking wall space? Oh. What? You're kidding me. Fuck you. Fuck you and your no wall space. And no hangers for me. Fuck you. What are these? Oh, that's just a skirt. Okay. This is a dress, so you probably want to hang a dress. Oh, I can't. I don't have a lot of shirts, actually. Maybe? I'll screw this guy over. And I get the bottom drawer all to myself. We go oh i've got two more hangers actually whoops didn't see those what is this this is also a blouse And then she's got a little bag. I don't know. I would put it in there, but let's just put it right there. And then I would just keep these at the foot of the bed. Oh, shit. I put these away. I put those in the wrong drawer. I'm gonna redo it. Cause I like the bras being on top. I've been doing that this whole time, so I'm gonna keep it that way. I'm not just gonna randomly change it. There you go, keep it color coded. Okay, but I should probably end stream there just so, cause I got up pretty early this morning. So just so I can make sure that I can get to work on time tomorrow morning.
but thank you guys so much for watching uh oh i forgot to say i i did a lot of work today i didn't go to the gym but i did a lot of work on the vod channel so um everything that i've done except for the papa stream they are all lined up um to premiere at 7 p.m i have them scheduled out like daily so like um when i like the older videos i went ahead and pushed out today and then i have one i had one that premiered at 7 p.m today and then the rest of them will go like tomorrow the next the next stream that was in that like i had done will be premiered on like 7 p.m so i've got that i've got them all lined up like that until the fourth and then because i was catching up on all the on all the past work that i had it done that i had it yeah that i had it done that's that's the right english hello but so i did all that today when i got back from louisville but after that like i fucking took a nap and i just felt horrible so yada 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 anyways so yeah i just have to catch up on the papa's one and have that one go out and then get this one ready and then have this one go out too it was a lot easier because those little goody two-shoe ones i was just using the game audio so i didn't have to do like any of the copywriting stuff which is usually why it takes so long because i'm like waiting for those to like process and clear and then get get all yeah get all the fucking copyright shit out so we are good on the vod channel but I think other than that, yeah, um, if you want to see, like, past streams, you can watch them on Twitch. But when they're not on Twitch, I put them on the VOD channel so that we don't, so that we don't lose them. But I did, I did lose one. I did, I lost my Pokemon, uh, Nuzlocke with my partner. So I lost fucking that one. I do, I have cl some clips from that stream, but I fucking lost it because I'm an idiot. But yeah, those are, those are up there. Those will be scheduled to go out. So if you're, like... Hey, I saw this one on Twitch, but it's not on YouTube. It's it. I, oh, I got them lined up. I actually did work today. Look at me go. I fucking did work today. And I usually don't. Because like last night, I think last Sunday I was pretty lazy. So I didn't do too much. But I finally, we finally caught up. We're all good to fucking go on that front. It's just under the same name. It's under Peachy Milk on, for the Voz channel on YouTube. But other than that, we will either have our monthly Papa's Friday on october the 11th or october the 18th i'm i have to figure out like like what i'm doing for work like when i'm working and then like what's going on that week because usually like hangouts with like my friends don't happen like that far in advance but since like i'm so busy in october i i need to like start getting on it um for like stream updates and stuff i'm still thinking about that i'm still working on that so i'm figuring out like a way like a better way of getting like stream updates out to you because my stream schedule is very very loose it's not it, like it's not always on time like you can check like on twitch um instead of like going to the about in the schedule just like the schedule because that shows like what time that i've last streamed and that gives you like a better like clear idea of like what's going on in that week but I, I have been looking for ways to just, like, post alerts that way. Because, like, cause like yesterday would have been easier to just, like, post one and be like, Hey, guys, no stream today. Fucking tired. And that's that. So, like, I feel bad that I don't have something like that. So, I'm thinking of, like, a better way of doing that. Or, like, a solution to that. So, yeah, that's in the cooks and the cookings. But, yeah, other than that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Those are all the updates that I have for you. You guys have a great night. I'll see you on the next stream. Hopefully, next stream is on Monday. Now, it's kind of <laughs> me being like, okay, I'm done with the updates. Has another update. But I think it's actually been pretty, st pretty st like it was pretty stable last week. So I can give you like a clear idea of like what's going on. So... Uh, my friend is gone in Cali this week so i can probably go to the gym earlier so the deal is next week i work instead of monday through friday i work monday through saturday so i get off like a little bit earlier so depending on how i feel we could either go to like the normal stream schedule which is i usually go to the gym at like 7 p.m and when i come back it's 
like around eight o'clock so usually i'll have like stream from like 8 30 to 10 or from 9 to 10 so those are like and this is in central time so this is like what last week kind of looked like so you can kind of look out for that now if i do get off early i don't know if i'll gym early so like there is a chance that the stream might be a little bit earlier but like a good rule of thumb is i usually go to the gym at like 7 p.m be there for about like an hour so get back at like 8 so you can look for streams from 8 30 to 10 p.m or from 9 p.m to 10 p.m that's what last week looked like a lot so yeah sorry sorry about all the fucking ranting i i go on lots of tangents but anyways hopefully that gives you guys like a clear explanation of like okay hopefully we'll see you on my stream tomorrow at maybe like 8 30 p.m to 10 p.m or 9 p.m to 10 p.m if i'm streaming that day so hopefully i'll see you guys then but if not you guys have a great night and i hope to see you guys again bye